Hi, this is Dave, and today we're going to be looking at how to make an a cappella from any song. But before we get started, I just want to make a disclaimer that Plugin Boutique did contact me and asked me to try this software. They have not paid me for this video in any way, and all the opinions you hear today are my own. So let's get started. As you know, extracting something from a song that's already been bounced together is basically impossible to do, but somehow this software does it. So if we load up Isotope RX7, you notice that I've got a standard version, but there is an advanced version and an elements as well. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a song. I've chosen a beautiful song by Randy Crawford called Time For Love. All we're gonna do is bring it up and drag it straight in. You may notice a blue waveform and some orange background. Now, for those of you who use Adobe Audition, you'll recognize that as the thermal image. And obviously we've got the blue waveform in front. It doesn't matter. You can choose whether you want to see uh, one or the other or both. Now, what we're going to do is go into music rebalance. And in here, we can see voice, bass, percussion, other. We can actually boost volumes in songs that have been bounced down, which is incredible. Or we can almost remove them. Now, obviously, the only way to really have an a cappella is by taking it from the stem before it's pushed into everything else. But this is a fantastic way of doing it afterwards. Now, you'll need to mess around with your parameters, but I've chosen to go to isolate vocals aggressive and set separation algorithm to advanced joint channel. And we're going to render it. Once it's rendered, you can see the black areas are completely silent. So it's already done a very good job. You will hear that is a little bit weird because some of the frequencies that you take from the music are going to be um, interacting with the vocal frequencies. And therefore, you're not going to get a true, um, what you would ha call a stem, a clean stem of vocals. However, that is impossible from the source we have. So therefore, this is, well, a very, very good um, thing to have. So once we were happy with that, we can just export it. And we can save it as a WAV, uh, AIFF, etc. Now, because this was an MP3 um, anyway, I don't see the point of making it a WAV um, because it's not going to change much anyway. So we can keep it, we can save it as an MP3. Obviously, if it was a WAV or an AIFF or FLAC, we could then keep the file type. Um, but we can just save it onto our desktop. But I've already done that. Now, that's the a cappella made, and that is it. You can use it as a normal file, as an a cappella in something you want, which I'm going to show you in a second. What you can also do is the flip side is that you can actually take the voice out and boost the bass, um, percussion, and other, and therefore you're left with everything but the voice, so that you get an instrumental. So once we've done all that, what do we do now? Well, you can use them for, you can put them in any door you want, so Ableton, Logic, Cubase, whatever you want to do with them. Um, you can uh, DJ them live. So what I'm going to show you now is how to move it into Tractor. We can make a live remix of it. So what I've done is I've put the a cappella in deck A and I wanted to make sure that the uh, BPM was roughly right. So I took the original and I made sure I beat gridded it. So we've got it down to one there. So if I turn this up, you can hear. Okay. And it's roughly, it's not perfect, but it's roughly, um, right, so it's 75303, so that's what I've done on here. What I've done is I've taken a part where the beat grid matches up with the start of the vocals of Randy's. And I've put in a couple of um, remix decks. For those of you who are aware of remix decks, it's a great way to try out ideas, play uh, live remixes, and a good way that YouTube is not going to shut me down because they're royalty free. So let's have a go. So what all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bass drum and start off with some percussion and I've got some delay and reverb on the vocals. So it's going to sound completely different. It's a lot faster, so it's going to be pitched up, but I want that. Obviously, we can pitch it down. We can do whatever we want with it, but I wanted it pitched up anyway. So let's have a go.
So there we have it. Just one idea of many out there that you can use the RX-7 Isotope software to make acapellas and instrumentals that can be used in your doors and your live DJ setups. If you're interested in purchasing an RX-7, the link will be in the description below. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos here, and I'll see you next time.